Hello, this is Josh, instructor at Motide 9 Music. Today I'm just going to do a really simple tutorial to kind of, as an introduction to Ableton Live or, or really to any other kind of uh, digital audio software such as GarageBand or Reason or ProLogic, Cubase, all those are very similar. Okay, so this is Ableton Live's main menu that pops up when you first open it and you see their main page and you see an audio track and a MIDI track. Uh, these are the, the two basic types of tracks in Ableton Live and in most most music software. Today we're just going to be dealing with MIDI which means we're just uh, using synthesizers basically and playing with my keyboard. Uh, audio would be uh, recorded samples or mp3 files, DJing and, and whatnot you would use audio tracks for. I'm just going to press delete and delete that. I'm also going to check my settings real quick to make sure uh, everything sounds good. The quality, I'm going to turn this up a little bit just because I was getting some cracking earlier. I'm not using any special equipment right now. Uh, I'm just using my, my laptop and the laptop sound card. No special sound cards, no special keyboard. I'm just using my computer keyboard today. So this window over here is called Live's Device Browser, and you can hide it or show it by clicking the triangle. Uh, in the first box right here, we have instruments, MIDI effects, audio effects. It goes down to plug-in devices, and you can, uh, you can, these are folders. You can point to any folder on your computer. You can assign that yourself. We're going to go back up here. Instruments is what we're interested in today. We're going to load a bass sound first. Um, operator is a synthesizer, so we're going to use that. It's one of my favorite synthesizers to use. Uh, you can see they have synth bass. These are these are presets of operator uh, is exactly what they are. So all these are using the same synthesizer. They're just set up differently to sound differently. So we're just going to load the first one over to our MIDI track. To do that, I'm just going to select it. I'm just going to drag it by holding down the mouse and drop it over here. And you can see it just appeared. Bass, eight ball, dribble bass. Uh, now to play to play this instrument, I can just use you can you can use any computer keyboard, but this button has to be toggled to yellow. You can see it doesn't work unless the yellow button is on. So you can play just like any any kind of a keyboard, and that's using buttons A through L. Uh, and a few buttons above them for the minor minor keys. And Z and X will move you up and down the keyboard so you can play very high or you can play very low. So really all you need is a, a computer keyboard. I'm going to turn the bass down a little bit. It's a little, a little high. Sounds fine. Okay. So we want to try, let's try some different basses. Uh, if we want to hear a lot of these sounds very quickly without dragging and dropping each one, we're just going to click this button. It's called the hot swap button. And that's going to let us, now we click on a different device, click the same hot swap button. And you can hear, you can hear everything. swap got turned off and turn it back on that sounds pretty cool I like that deep heavy bass sound so we got a bass we like uh, let's go back up here let's load up some drums now uh, we're just gonna use instruments and go to drum rack drum rack is a, there's a lot of different ways you can make any sounds uh, especially drum sounds but we're just going to use these kits that are already set up for us. It's very simple. There's a 606 Classic. I'm just going to drag that to an empty space. You can drag it anywhere, and it'll appear here. You can see our 606 kit. OK, 
Okay, so we got a basic drum kit set up. Uh, let's look for one more sound. Let's look for a lead sound. Instrument. Maybe operator again. Synth bass. Pianos and keys. Let's see what we can find. Draw bar, draw bar organ. Let's see what that sounds like. I kind of like organs, so. Let's try out a few real quick, though. That one sounds fine. Whoa. Let's turn that way down. Sorry about that. Try a few of those. So you can see how many options you really have. And all these sounds, once again, are really only different presets. Let's go back to draw bar organ. I like that one. And you can control these sounds even further down here. I'm just going to leave that alone though. Okay, that sounds fine. So now if we want to get back to the drum kit or the bass, what we need to do is arm the tracks. You can see this button's red right here, which is why I'm able to play the organ with my keyboard. I'm going to go back to the kit 606. Now you can see we're back on that kit. Now back to the, the bass. We're back on the bass. Okay, so we got just three basic instruments, basic three-man band. Uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make an arrangement real quick. So we're gonna go back over to arrangement view. Um, over here is this button shows arrangement view. This button shows clip view, which is what we've been looking at so far. Arrangement view has a timeline and we're going to use that to uh, to put it all together. And you can see, arrangement view is the exact same thing almost as as clip view. Got your bass, drums, keys, and then back over here, bass, drums, keys. It's the same thing. It's just sideways basically. And you have the timeline instead of clips. So we're going to start a new bass clip. To create the bass clip, I'm just going to drag and select these four bars right here, and press Shift Command M. Now a blank, empty, empty uh, MIDI clip comes up. This MIDI clip can be controlled down here at the bottom. I want that to hide. Let's move this up a little bit. Here's the MIDI clip view, and here is the bass instrument view. That's how you switch back and forth. Right now it's empty. There's nothing here at all. You can see the the buttons are turning red here, which is telling me what note I'm playing. This is G2, this is D2. And I could either press record up here and start playing, or I can just click these in. And I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna select this, this quarter note here, and then press Command Duplicate and duplicate that one note per quarter note all the way across. That's four bars. And we don't even need four bars. Let's go, let's just go down to two bars. We'll move our loop to just two, ah, that's okay. A bars will be fun. So now, this is our, our loop selector here, and this is the loop own button. So this button needs to be toggled, and then we 